very excited. I'm actually so excited for this video, guys. <laughs> channel it's me Ruby and today I am back with a very exciting video a video I've wanted to do for a while now but I've just been waiting for everything to come in and now it is so I'm really excited if you guys are new here welcome to my channel um, feel free to subscribe check out my Instagram it's right here and I also have a Depop um, but yeah without further ado we are going to be unboxing some style bundles today and if you guys have been following me watching me for a while you know I used to do style bundles absolutely love doing them they're so much fun now they're huge on depop um you can find a bunch from a, from a bunch of different sellers across the world and i think it's great um it's super fun there are style bundles out there that range from various different price ranges so i thought it would be fun i actually got the idea from sarah dunk a uh, fellow Canadian um, to try out a more expensive style bundle and more affordable style bundle and see what the main differences are so yeah I'm really excited to show you guys I think I'm going to start off with the um, least expensive one um, I don't remember exactly how much it is I'm going to check right now so I bought this style bundle from a shop called Disco Dolls I'll have their shop right here um, as well as link down below. I don't remember the exact day I bought it, but I remember it got here pretty fast Like I feel like it got here within a week, which is pretty good for a style bundle because if you don't know a style bundle is basically a personalized um, Clothing bundle created from like various like thrifted pieces Catered to your style or the style the theme of whatever you tell the seller you want um, so essentially for this one um, it comes with one to two tops, one bottom, and one accessory. And I had to fill out like this Google survey form thing to tell her like what kind of style I wanted, my sizes and things like that. And she put together this bundle for me um, based on what I told her and like what I liked and stuff. So yeah, and her style bundles are $50, which in my opinion is a pretty affordable, cheaper style bundle option. Um, I used to sell mine for like $100. $50 is like way less. This is what the box looks like. She has her own personal tape, which I thought was really cute. I'll leave their shops and everything down below. And I think I'm just going to open everything, try it on, see how it looks, and give you my opinion. And then go on to the more expensive style bundle I have to open. So yeah, let's open this. I honestly really miss making style bundles. If I was still in Canada, I totally would. But thrifting in New York is just like so hard. And like... I would never be able to make a profit so I don't know let me know if you guys want me to bring style bundles back big scissors out right now ah, okay so we have some tissue paper very cute okay so first I see she's a little thank you note with some clips and some Hello Kitty stickers a note is always nice so the first thing I see is this blue like vintagey venus girl trap is that what it says venus girl tra crap or trap trap and it has like these three hawaiian flowers on it this is actually really cute i actually really love this and then it has a little dragon on the back with some hawaiian like style flowers too i actually love this t-shirt and i don't have enough t-shirts this size i really like this the shape of this t-shirt like I'm actually pretty surprised like I'm not even lying right now <laughs> for $50 like I didn't expect it to be this good I've only opened one thing but like but this first top is so cute I'm really excited about it I think I told her my style was like skater 90s kind of thing um, another baby tee it says strong women be them know them raise them black was like a kind of like Ed Hardy kind of graphic this is cute I prefer the blue one, but this is still really cute. It was International Women's Day yesterday. So if we keep going, the next thing I see, oh, is this super cool, like super big um, faux fur brown purse. This is actually really cute. I like how big it is. Um, you can fit a lot in there. I hope this isn't real faux fur. I don't think it is. I mean real fur. I don't think it is though, but yeah, this is cool. I'm actually into this. 
very me. I have a lot of bags like this, so it's very me. And then the next thing I see is this cute crop. This is actually really cute too. Little cropped cardigan, crop top. This would look really cute with the jeans I'm wearing right now. It's like this olive greeny brown color, and then it has this like, I don't know, it's not fur, it's like, you know, textured collar. And I like how the buttons are like kind of off to the side. She, I think she cropped this herself, but she did a really good job because it's not fraying or anything. But yeah, this is really cute, aw. And then lastly, she included, I guess this is the bottoms, these black velour pants. They have like elastic waistline. I don't have any pants like this. This isn't really like something I would pick up for myself. But that being said, we'll see how they look on. They could actually look really cute, so we'll see. But yeah, that is the style bundle from Disco Dolls. I'm honestly, first impressions, very impressed. I, if I'm being honest, like did not expect it to be that good. Should I try them on now? I guess so. Okay, we're gonna try these on real quick, see what I think. All right, so I have on the pants and the gray, I mean, navy t-shirt. The pants, you can't really tell, but like they're pretty short. Um, I mean, they fit, but they're just like, I don't really wear pants that are like this tight and like, I don't know. They're just like not really me. So I feel like it's a little bit of a miss on the pants, but the top is really cute and I love the fit size everything I love this top um now I think I'm gonna try on this little cardigan with my own jeans and then the bag I think that could be cute so this angle like sucks I'm in a tiny ass room okay so this is the outfit um I'm wearing the green olivey top with the collar and then the furry bag and some baggy jeans you can see it a little better like this but not really anyway you kind of get the vibe but i think this top is really cute i just wouldn't wear it with those pants she gave me and this bag too it's a little big i don't know it's not my favorite bag definitely but i think it's good for 50 dollars. so yeah i'm gonna take this off put on my clothes and open the next one by the way i also just want to say these were not gifted to me. I actually paid for them. I wanted to get like the full experience of like what someone would actually get if um, they paid for one. So um, I don't want anyone thinking like, oh, she just got them for free. Like it doesn't count. I actually paid for them so you guys could see. Anyway, so the next bundle, the more expensive bundle I have to show you guys is from May Sterling. And this one took about two weeks. I did tell her like there's no rush or anything. So I didn't put any pressure on her to get it here as ASAP. But I feel like two weeks is like a normal time to create and do the whole style bundle thing. Okay, my neighbors are playing music now. So we're gonna have a little backdrop of music and the sun's going down. So this is what happens when we have paper thin walls. Maybe she's playing music cause she doesn't wanna hear me talk. Okay, anyway, May Sterling's bundles, I paid $150 Canadian. The other one was US. This is Canadian. And I basically had to answer a bunch of questions on Depop to her. She asked me a lot more and way more in-depth questions than disco dolls. So off the bat, you can already tell there's more effort going into it. Usually when a bundle is more expensive, I think you're paying for, first of all, quality and effort and time. Um, so that's what I'm expecting out of this one. I've seen a lot of the bundles she's done and I know she does like really fantastic work. Prior to her shipping, the bundle she sends them to her customers in order to like make sure that everything looks good and stuff like that, which I think is really cool. I didn't even do to do that because it was just like too much work. To be honest, it's like an extra step but it definitely, you know, increases your customer satisfaction. I think that's a great way to go about it. So she did that to me. So I did see what she was sending me, but I honestly don't remember. So it's still gonna be a bit of a surprise. I have three packages here. I'm so excited. Oh, I should probably tell you how many things normally come in a bundle. So usually it's only two tops, one bottom and accessories, but 
um, because we kind of know each other. She's from Montreal. I lived there for a year. I love Montreal so much. And we follow each other on Instagram, everything like that. She threw in some extra goodies for me, but just keep in mind that I did receive a few extra things. Um, but it'll give you a good idea of what kind of stuff she has and the pieces and stock and things like that. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I don't know what to open first. I'm gonna go with this one. I'm so excited. Oh my god, okay, first and foremost, little queen herself, May Sterling. Little thank you card, very cute. She's so hot, love that for her. I'm so awkward. Thing May Sterling, she seems like, she. I watch her vlog, she's so funny. Um, and she also like, she's so confident and I wish I had her confidence. Um, she says, hi queen, thank you so much for supporting my little old small business. I hope you love whatever you bought. I picked it out and packaged it with love. Don't forget to follow me on Insta if you don't already for giveaways and shop updates. Oh, and I vlog on YouTube if you're into that. Love, love, love you, May. That's so cute. All right. So first thing is this super cute little green long sleeve, very like JPG inspired graphic. Um, very lightweight, perfect for spring. This is gonna be so cute. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with the colors. It's very me. Uh, yeah, so this is the first top. And if you live in Montreal, like I lived in Montreal, and the thrift stores are just impeccable. They're really good in Canada to begin with, but like Montreal, like such good shit at the thrift store. Like at Village and like Renaissance, like the shit is just so good unbeatable i wish i wish I, I can't even tell you how much i miss going to like village and like thrift stores in canada so, like huh. best thing ever and you find things that nobody else has and i feel like that's when my closet was like the best and like my favorite pieces in my closet are from those stores so anyway if you live in canada basically what i'm saying is take advantage because america just doesn't have it i mean i've heard la has good thrifting but new york no okay so she showed me this adorable cute mini like low-waisted guess denim skirt i'm so sorry for this music oh it just stopped oh never mind so cute i actually don't really have a skirt like this so i'm excited and it'll look really cute with this i'll try those on together and then next oh this is the really cute she sent me a picture of this um like skater kind of fleecy styled um zip up and i love sweaters i love hoodies so much i love the colors of this it's gray and green i like how on the elbows it has like a little argyle patch print there it's like color block uh, big and oversized obsessed with this so cute this will also look really cute with the skirt just like with a little top underneath okay let's do this one next okay so we have a little mini purse just a classic black mini purse can never have too many actually i might have too many to be honest but it's all good and then we have some accessories in here so we have some white fuzzy socks oh wait these are not fuzzy socks <laughs> oh my god these are so cute are these leg warmers or arm warmers i think they can be both i feel like i'm gonna wear them as arm warmers because they're so fuzzy oh, so cute i might i think they're leg warmers but i might cut a hole and use them as arm warmers but they're just like fuzzy leg warmers, like the material fuzzy socks. So cute. Some t uh, pattern tights, which actually I love. Oh my God, are they Argyle print? I think they are. That is so cute. I actually don't really have any pattern tights very on trend. That would look very cute with the denim skirt. And then last but certainly not least, some big clips as you guys can see i wear clips all the time and i just got a horrible haircut so this will come in handy to clip up these bangs but yeah and this bag is from aldo if you're a canadian i don't think they have that in america but aldo it's like a big shoe store especially when i was in like middle school all those shoes were it okay then she sent me so much stuff she literally spoiled me i feel special um all right so she sent me these khaki little i think these are gonna be low waisted on me because yeah they're gonna be low waisted on me but that's that's totally okay um little khaki um i 
don't know they're like khaki material i don't know how to describe it like boat pants like not dress pants but like kind of like dickies material and they go straight down and then they have some beautiful like embroidery like i don't know how to describe it lacy cutouts at the bottom of the leg they remind me of img pants incredible so yeah very excited to style those and then another pair of pants these are literally gorgeous i i actually can't believe she gave me these they're so cute they're by the brand sex so jeans they're just basically i don't know how to describe it it's like this stripy jean pattern and they have like cargo pockets low waisted just essentially a vibe like that little back zip pocket is incredible and then they wide they like widen at the bottom i guess i don't know i had to try all this stuff on to really show you guys what they look like but i love those that's my favorite thing so far i feel like in the last package i believe is a jacket she showed me oh this scarf oh my god i did not know i was getting this shut up this scarf is so cute what <laughs> this scarf is adorable oh my god i love the colors it's like this like forgot the word for it Ugh, i forgot the material it's like that super soft material oh my god Shh. okay wait no this is actually full of a bunch of stuff okay i'm gonna have to refer to the pictures to see what goes with what but this little furry faux fur vest i love vests like this i'm obsessed with them so this is so cute this will look so cute with the scarf um next thing i see is a super cute red calvin klein tank top love this love the subtle branding i like how it's like tighter too very cute okay she left a note like a real note she said hi queen thank you so much for thinking of me to make you this special little bundle i got you i'm having really trouble reading her handwriting it's like nice i'm just like it's all cursive and i'm bad at reading cursive i get so many people asking for your style as finger oh so fingers crossed i nailed it i hope you love everything and it all fits perfectly anyway it, thank you anyway she killed it i'm very excited to keep going so the next item i see is a super cute collared patterned shirt i love how everything's like in the same color scheme it's like neutral it's very me um super fun 70s little moment all right next a cute little baby tee again red and black it says whatever yeah right okay fine sure okay i think this is really cute too but just a cute pair of jeans two more bottoms the first one is this dickies mini skirt um looks like this it's more like a pencil skirt i might need to like cut the, i don't know i have to try it on maybe it's high-waisted i'm not sure how this is gonna fit on me to be honest it's giving me like going to the law firm vibes with tights so we'll see and then lastly i have these black cargo pants and i actually don't have black cargo pants that really look like this that i wear all the time i have black cargo pants from unif but they're like so wide leg that i don't like wearing that wide leg all the time so these are good like straight leg cargo pants but still baggy if you know what i mean it's crazy how many variations of the exact same pant you need to have to like make the outfit it's really fucking annoying anyway thank you so much may um i'm super excited to try out this on I don't even know what to start with. So, for the first fit, um, I have the little fur vest on, the little baby tee, and the pants fit perfectly. I'm obsessed with them. I'll try and like lower the camera so you can see. They're so cute. I love so much. And then, yeah, I just put the vest over it. I was gonna do the scarf with it, but I feel like it looks kind of weird. Okay, I don't even have the pants I want to put on yet. I'm going to put on this little mini skirt with it. But this top is so cute. Love. Okay, so I put the skirt on. It's pretty short on me, I'm not going to lie. But, you know what? What can you do? So these are the jeans on. They fit perfectly. I'm literally obsessed with them. So cute. 
Okay, so that is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, all the information about the girls is down below where to buy their style bundles. Thank you everyone who sent me a style bundle. Love you guys. See you in my next one.